What's up you guys, welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're gonna be doing a Target haul. I went to Target last night and they had like all the new fall stuff out and I was honestly so impressed. They had so many cute things like clothes, home decor, accessories, like all this. And I got of course beauty stuff as well as always. You guys know I can never go to Target without getting beauty stuff. So we have a good mix in today's video of different things and I'm just so excited to show you guys all of my Target finds. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys love Target as much as I do and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, up first we have to talk about two lifesavers. Like if you have acne prone skin like I do, you're gonna love these. So these are both from Zitsticka and these are their pimple patches. I wanna thank them so much for partnering with me on this section of today's video, but I have tried a lot of different pimple patches in the past and not all of them work. A lot of them I feel like you just stick them on and you wake up the next morning and they do nothing. These ones actually really do work and they do have them available at Target. You can get them in store, you can get them on their website. So I will link them down below. What I love is they actually make patches for different stages of your pimples. Cause we all know there are like the really deep under the skin ones, which is unfortunately what I get most often. Um, or there's just like the regular like ones that have already basically come to the surface that already have a white head on them and what you want to use to tackle them are not going to be the same thing. So they have the goo getter, which these are for like surface level extractions and they're basically hydrocolloid patches. And so these are really good if you have like a surface level like blemish that already has like a white head on it. You just pop this on, wear it overnight and then you'll wake up the next morning. When you peel it off, honestly, it's going to like pull all of this stuff out of there and then within like a day or two, it is healed. So these really are amazing. These have a ton of good like dermatologist backed ingredients in them. They have niacinamide, vitamin C, salicylic acid, and tea tree to really help accelerate that healing process of your blemish. So you really wanna wear it for about six hours, so you don't have to do it overnight. That's typically just when I will do it. I'll just pop it on before I go to bed, and the next morning you wake up and you can take it off, but it'll still be on your skin like the adhesive will actually stay. Now, for the more under the skin difficult pimples, which is unfortunately, like I said, what I get most of the time, they have the Killa Deep Access Patch. So these are kinda cool because they're twofold. I've never tried another one that was like this. Basically, they come with cleansing swabs, and then they come with the micro dart patches. So you'll go in with a cleansing swab and cleanse the skin or the area where you're having this under the skin pimple. And this is gonna help with exfoliation and basically to prime the area before you go in with the patch. And then you can go in with the micro dart patch and you wanna leave it on for about two hours, ideally overnight, like as long as possible, and basically let it dissolve. But the addition of that cleansing swab really helps to make sure there isn't excess bacteria that's gonna just make it worse sitting on the skin. So the two of them together really do work. And when you start to feel that like zit forming overnight, you can put this on and when you wake up the next morning, you're definitely gonna see a different difference in like the size and level of the blemish that you have. Like I said, available in store at Target. I will link them down below as well if you guys want to check them out. Okay, up next we have these boots. Like what in the world? When I saw these, I was like, oh my goodness. They are so cute. Obsessed with like the chunky heel. They are just like everything and more. And price wise, we're not too bad. They were $39.99, like 40 bucks. And I don't have a boot that like really looks like this in this color. So I thought these were really cute for fall. Could be worn with a bunch of different things. So I grabbed them. These at my target were not in the shoe section. They were like in the clothing section, like within it on a shelf. So that's where I found them. They didn't like come in a box or anything like that. Um, they're just kind of sitting on a shelf like this if you're looking for them at your local Target, but super cute. I was really happy with that find. I did get another pair of boots too. These were in the actual shoe section. So they came in like a box. Um, and these are just black leather booties like this. These ones were also $39.99. And I actually wear boots like this all the time. They're kind of like the sock boot, I guess. Um, look, I always wear boots like this in the fall and winter and stuff, but most of the ones I have are like suede material. I actually don't have any that are like a leather like this. And this is obviously faux leather, not real leather, but I thought these were really cute. I kind of liked the way the toe was like squared off, but still kind of rounded and like soft. So I thought these would be really, really cute. Okay, I got a lot of good clothes. So first thing I grabbed was this. It has a little thread on it, but it's just a little basic tank. And the material is nice. I'm not sure that it'll necessarily translate through the camera, but it's like a thicker material. So obviously it gets cold here in New Jersey in the fall and winter. So I wouldn't be wearing this completely on its own, but I could definitely wear this. A shirt like over it, like a flannel maybe or something, um, a jacket, whatever. Just kind of like a nice little basic and it's a little bit cropped, but it basically would just go to your waist. So it's not like super cropped or anything like that, but it's not super long. So I thought this was a nice little basic to have and was 15 bucks. Thought I could wear it actually with this shirt. So let me show you. This shirt I'm a little like unsure of. So let me know your thoughts. But I saw this and I was like, hmm, I don't have anything like that. Um, so it is actually a like faux leather, like a pleather kind of material. So they had it in black and they also had it in tan. And I have a faux like pleather um, button down like this 
that's black that actually wore a decent amount last year. So then I saw this tan one. The other one that I have is from Abercrombie though. It's not from Target, but I saw this and I was like, okay, I feel like I could style this and like make it cute. Um, it definitely is like a bit oversized. I got it in a size medium, but they do definitely run larger, but I don't know. I'm a little like, how exactly could I style this? But I was kind of thinking like, put this shirt underneath it, wear this over it. Could even do like the boots with it and just like maybe a legging or a pair of jeans and it could be really cute. So I'll have to see, but let me know what you guys feel about this. But I thought it was like different. And this was $28. And then I also grabbed this little workout set that I thought was so cute. So I'm clearly I'm into this like brown color. I feel like everything I bought was like a brown neutral, but it's like a flared workout pant, which I don't have. Most of my workout pants are just like regular leggings that are like, you know, tapered at the ankle but these ones kind of flare at the bottom, which I thought was cute. And then the matching little sports bra has like little ruffles on it, which I thought was really adorable too. So you do buy these separately, but obviously they are like a set. Um, and the pants were 34 bucks and then the top was 22. So cute little set. I also grabbed this little purse. I don't know what, I don't have anything that's like this and I don't know what exactly it was about it. I think it's like the texture, it's like the teddy bear material, but I just thought this was the cutest thing for fall. Again, clearly I'm loving like the brown colors, but I thought this was really cute and just like opens up obviously and you can put your things inside of it. It's not too, too big, but you would be able to fit like a credit card, like stuff like that. And then there is a spot in the back that you can put like your phone if your phone is too big, which I think mine is. Um, so I'll put it in the back pocket like that. But it was 25 bucks and I thought it was really cute and has like a long strap so you can wear it crossbody or just on the shoulder, however you like. For makeup, of course, I had to grab some makeup. So I grabbed this Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Skin Tint. Um, I haven't tried this, but this looked kind of right up my alley. So this is supposed to be a tinted moisturizer. I just grabbed it in shade medium. So I can definitely keep you guys updated or do like a first impressions on this. If you guys want that, let me know down below. But always into trying new like dewy skin tints. I've been loving that. And I thought it was kind of just gonna be a summer thing, but honestly, I feel like I'm still loving it into the fall. Also grabbed a backup of the L'Oreal Telescopic. I do really like this, especially for my lower lashes. I don't have any <laughs> mascara on my lower lashes today, but when I do do that, this wand is long, but really skinny. So you can really get in there and like feather it on your lower lashes, which is really nice. So love that. I grabbed a new concealer. This is from CoverGirl. This is the Simply Ageless Triple Action Concealer, but this is supposed to be super brightening and like really nice for the under eyes. So I wanted to check it out, obviously use it soon in like an upcoming testing new drugstore makeup video or something like that. So I can definitely keep you guys updated, but CoverGirl had a couple new things. So I wanted to grab the concealer. That's kind of what interested me the most. I got a big bottle of this Curel Ultra healing intense lotion for extra dry type skin because my skin especially as we move into fall and winter like my legs and stuff as I'm like always wearing pants gets so so dry like I feel like in the summer because they're like out they get the moisture from the air because it's humid here or something I don't know but they get so dry and flaky so I'm like all right I gotta go back to like literally slathering myself in moisturizer every single day so I grabbed this and it's like a huge bottle so I feel like it'll last a while. I grabbed two jewelry pieces. This is from the Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. I always love their stuff. They have them at Target. Um, they always have like cute things. So the first thing that I got was this necklace. I had been wanting, I saw someone on Instagram wearing a necklace that it kind of looked like the clasp was in the front of the necklace, which I guess you could just really take any necklace and like put the clasp in the front. But this one, ooh, here I am throwing it. This one was like meant to be like that. I thought it was cute. Just like a chunky little gold like layering piece. I love to layer necklaces. I have none on right now. Um, but normally I'll wear like two or three when I like to layer. So I thought this would be a good one to do with that. And it was $16.99. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I also grabbed these little ear cuffs that have like rhinestones on them. I like little ear cuffs, like just putting them up on my ear if I'm wearing my hair up uh, so that I don't have to actually like pierce my ears, but I can like have these on and have it look cute. And I thought these were pretty how they kind of have like pave stones and stuff on them. And these were only at $12.99. I was kind of bummed because I went to the home decor section and I didn't love anything that they had there. Um, a lot of the stuff just like, it all had like slathered on it, like gather or like, um, you know, thankful, like, which I don't, I don't love like pieces uh, that have like words on them really. So I didn't find anything that I really loved in the home decor section, but then I saw this candle and I was like, all right, let me see. Honestly, this is the best smelling candle I have ever, like ever smelled, I'm not even kidding. It smells so good. I'm so excited to actually burn it. I really hope that it still smells the same way when I burn it because this is the best smelling candle literally ever. And plus it looks so cute. Um, it is vanilla pumpkin is the scent. And I loved that it was like, looked like a pumpkin. I don't normally do a ton of decor for like Halloween 
Um, I'm not a huge Halloween person. I know some people just absolutely love it. It's not that I dislike it. I'm just like, I am a huge Christmas person. I love Christmas. And so you guys know, if you watch my vlog channel, like we always deck our house out for Christmas. Um, but I feel like that's why I don't do a ton for Halloween because then I would just be tired by the time we got to Christmas. But of course I like to have a few little pieces. So I grabbed this. I thought it'd be cute to just put in the kitchen or maybe even like in our downstairs bathroom to keep it smelling nice. Um, have this little, this little pumpkin candle that literally smells. So good. So this one I think was 20 bucks. Um, yes, yeah, so this was 20 bucks, but it's a 28 ounce candle. They had a smaller version that I think was $10. If you don't need a candle that was like this big, but smells incredible and looks really cute. They had them in a couple different colors as well, but I just kind of went with this cream one because I liked the scent the most. And then last, but certainly not least, this one's kind of like a random um, purchase. And this is also kind of a scary one, but I want to let you guys know about this. So we got this salad spinner. So you basically just put salad in here, you put water on it and you spin it and it cleans it. Um, and then it will like dry it basically at the same time because we always buy like the bagged lettuce and I actually found like a bug in the bagged lettuce. So even though you think it's clean, probably wash it yourself as well. Uh, we were doing that, but we were doing it in like one of those like pasta strainer things and the lettuce was just always so wet um, cause we didn't have a way to like dry it. So now we have the salad spinner where we can wash it and then you spin it around and it kind of dries and cleans the lettuce at once. So this is kind of expensive. I feel like when I think it was 30 bucks, I have my receipt right here. But I was like, you know what, whatever, well worth it. Um, probably maybe would have been able to find it cheaper at like Walmart or something, but we were already there. Yeah, it was $30.99. But if it's gonna keep my lettuce clean, we eat a lot of salads around here. So if it's gonna clean the lettuce, then so be it. All right, you guys, so that was everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have everything linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.